I'm Will with White Bison Outdoors, and this is a video of me going down the Catalucci Valley to try and pull out a few uh, trout, rainbows, browns, spotted, um, not spotted, I guess brook trout, that's better um, description for them, but uh, did not have a whole lot of luck. So these videos that you're seeing here are probably my best catches uh, of the day. So um, it was Pitt's Peak Fall. So everything that we got here on the drone that you're watching, it was straight up beautiful out there. And if you are planning a trip, the fall is a great time for sightseeing. And uh, I'm not 100% sure why I had such bad luck in fishing. It might have been the weather that day. It just might have been what it was. But Catalucci has a lot more to offer. Even if you aren't catching fish, you can see here some of the sights. It's just a beautiful secluded place. It takes a little bit to get up over the top. You gotta go up the mountain and down over into the bottom of the valley and there's no, there's only one way in, but you can see there's some sights here that you don't wanna miss. The elk that's been uh, reintroduced into the area are thriving. And, uh, and so yeah, we took a walk up to the very end of the valley, but uh, realized those creeks are too shallow. So we turned around here and uh, found a couple deep spots. This log here in particular was something I was kind of focused on trying to fish around because the only place I really found fish up to that point and uh, I had seen one swim up beneath of there and I'm just trying to pull it out and it's just uh, being a pain in the neck. But kind of dive off my dialogue from here and jump into these videos. So a lot of this is fairly shallow. Uh, I've had to work a couple different spots and this log here and there's a deeper pool on the other side. I think that they're actually hiding in because this is the first sign of fish that I've found all day. Let's keep casting here, see what happens. Got my first catch of the day finally. Hey buddy. Oh, that's a nice little rainbow. There you go. Let's get that hook out your mouth. Nice and easy. I know, buddy. I'm working on it. All right. There we go. Nice little rainbow. There he goes. Got that dumb branch sticking out there. I know it's going to get me. Go down a little bit. Pull it across. Nope. I'm gonna go up the river, cast down into that hole, see what happens. Casting down river is always easier to get your spinner going because you don't have to do as much and you can kind of let it sit. But I've honestly had more luck. Well, that sucked casting up the stream. 
I guess because I can't see you as well, but we'll see what happens. There we go, right? No! Freaking log got me. Flew too close to the sun. Come on, dude. Alright, well, my hands are freezing after getting that fish off. Having those hand warmers and a pair of actual waders would be great. See if I can get into this hole here without snagging on that laurel bush. Almost died. Oh, there was a hole under that rock. Whoo, buddy. That was almost bad. That was almost a trip to the emergency room. Drifted into that log to see what happens. Without snagging it. Come on. I know there's fish in there. I know it. This uh, river is deceiving how deep it is. It looks it might be half my uh, half the lower part of my leg, but it's definitely up my knees. So that's an interesting thing to learn. These rocks are slick. Snuck. Got over here. Come through a several spots where I would have bet money that there were fish, but there has not been a whole lot of action besides that little, I don't know, six inch rainbow earlier. And that's it. So I'm going to move on. something in this hole. Got the freaking tree. I 
but that's not a brown one. That sucks. So I've lost the lure. Tied on this silver spinner. Rooster tail. But I have got nothing down here by this dam. I was hoping there'd be some action, especially down close. I'm trying to ambush some stuff, getting stuck. But... Well, the dam was a bust. Nothing down there that's interested in anything I have right now. So we're gonna make our way to one more spot and then I'm gonna head out. I think I'll have better access on the other side of this bridge. Take the group camping road down. Try to get down to that right there. Fairly certain I had one over there coming after it. These fish are either super wise or do they just ain't here. Either they fished out. I had the feeling that I was actually spoiled at Laurel Creek. Where I was at the other day. I think it's a hatchery supported river, so that's probably why. I think this is all wild, so I'm not getting anything. So that's that little tiny guy I got earlier today. Right there. I've been trying to catch fish all day with I got one thing that I just cast out and there's a dang bird dive bombing it trying to eat it. That'd be something if the only thing I caught today was a five inch trout and a dang bird. light Dang, this thing's not spinning Alright, so that's it. <clears throat> Walking back across the bridge here. I basically follow these photographers around the whole day. I don't know what they're doing. They have like a pack of them, like three or four cars to get out, pop their tripods, and shoot everything in sight. But uh did not catch a whole lot. Caught 
probably a seven inch trout. I don't know. I called it a six and I called it a five, but it was probably like a seven or eight. I don't know. <clears throat> and uh, almost a bird. So that's all I got. So I had really bad luck there at Catalucci. Um, I think maybe I came after the fishing season or something and maybe they just weren't there. Or maybe the weather was bad. I don't know, but it uh, was not good. So that is where it is. Uh, next video coming up next week, I uh, took a trip to Lake James with my buddy Mike and uh, we pulled out several uh, very good sized smallmouth bass. Uh, so that was a different uh, little challenge for me. And he was teaching me all the ways of the old man <laughs> and all that good stuff. So that one might be a little better, probably be shorter. I didn't shoot a lot of uh, footage except for the few catches and stuff that we have. So it'll be a few casts, a few little things, but mainly just the... Uh, just the catches so that's what's coming up so remember like subscribe hit that bell and always remember keep it clean keep it open make sure you pack in you pack out and if you have opportunity pack out with someone else uh you know left in there because they were idiots so keep it clean keep it open until next time i'm will with white bison and that's it